Kara Zarnecki. You don't pronounce the C. She's a realtor with Geneva Real Estate and Investments in Tempe. She grew up in Arizona, moved back in 2005 from Europe. So she might have a little accent, wee oui, wee. Oui. For several years, she lived in Europe. She's involved with the SEVRAR, the NAPW, the CSSPE, and the NRA, yo. I don't know what those acronyms stand for, but actually we're going to talk more about what she's doing with her passions and callings. You do. You have a lot, quite a, quite a bit of acronyms. I don't even know if those spell like anything acronyms. out. Let's see, they're cute. <laughs> All right, Kara is also the founder. This is what we're going to talk about because you're a helper of those who need homes Founder of Homes for Single Moms, yes. and in parentheses, Dads. And Dads. Which has an abundance of resources for single parents. Let's get to the chatting. Good to see you. You look good in the headphones. Thank you. Very good nicely done. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Thank hello. you for having me. Yeah, it's neat. Okay, yeah. first of all, let's get this out of the way because people don't know nowadays because it's a crazy realtor thing. We'll go with realtor yes. for a sec. Everyone wants to know, you know if it's a seller's market. Is it a buyer's market? Is it a bear market? Is it a farmer's market? <laughs> it's a crazy market. What kind market. of market? What's going on? You know, I the last couple of years um, have just been insane. It just seems like the time span for going from a buyer's market to a seller's market to an investor's market is changing so quickly. Um, this summer we saw multiple offers on houses. Inventory was low. I was showing clients around in the East Valley buyers. We were getting 15 um, offers on properties. People were bidding above, paying cash waiving all contingencies. I mean, it's very difficult for a first-time homeowner who's got an FHA loan to buy a property because they're just being outbid on everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's shifting a little bit. Inventory is very low right now. Um, there's about 22,000 houses on the market right now in the Arizona area active. So that's low. So what would a high inventory, like in the day, I say in the mm, day, mm, never in the day. 50, 60,000. Okay. That would be a kind of a high yeah. deal. That would be kind of, there's enough for everybody to go around. <laughs> Okay, so realtor, you've you've been doing it a while. Yes, you like it. You're great at it. It's yes. uh, is there some other sort of profession that you wanted to do that you did before this? These are like curiosity background yes. questions. We want to know what makes you tick. Yes, well, I'll tell you. I <laughs> hope so. <laughs> I have a lot of interests. Um, I'm actually a trained ballroom dancer, so I taught ballroom dance for a while. Um, I am a writer. I have um, I've studied English literature when I was living in Europe. Um, British literature specifically. So I also take some of these interests and these passions and I kind of wrap it all up into the Homes for Single Moms idea. Yeah. Um, I, I write for examiner.com. Um, I'm their East Valley single parenting examiner. So I, I have an outlet for those types of interests. Um, but I kind of wrap it up all under the same thing because that's what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about helping single parents get back up on their feet. Okay, so that's a great transition, and you did that very well. Thank so <clears throat> the writing and everything. Now, when you say Europe, just curiosity, did you live in Britain because you studied British literature? No. You I, were, lived, I what, lived in Germany. Oh, sprechst du Deutsch, ja? I'm missing. Uh, wie heißt du? Uh, super. <laughs> <laughs> super. How are you doing, ladies yep. and gentlemen? Hast du einen Hund? Uh, ein. Do you have mm -hmm. a dog? Yes, one. She has Hund. Einen, einen Hund. Okay, and that's the, that is my German. I speak it sometimes at home when we do German day, but my girlfriend and I do a lot of role play. Okay, that's, that's a whole different subject, which we're going to talk about down the road. We talk about dating and things like that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, das ist gut, Sir Olga. Um, okay, so you, you get into this writing thing, and now the single, homes for singles moms. So kind of, Describe that a little more detailed. How did that come to be? Because you are passionate. This is a very neat thing. Right. So, so I am a single mom. Um, I was in property management with a real estate company in Chandler. Knew I was going to be getting a divorce. So I went and got my real estate license so I could work strictly in sales, mainly so I could be home, have a more flexible schedule. I mean, I, you work all the time, but you can work from a home office versus being gone. Knew that was extremely important for my children. Um, my background is in interpersonal communications. I worked um, after school programs when I was in college. So I know that the hours between 3 and 6 p.m. are essential for interaction with kids. Um, latchkey kids get in a lot of trouble, unfortunately. So there's all kinds of school programs and things like that to help um, curb that. Right. So, so I specifically went into real estate sales thinking that it would help with my um, time with my kids. Um, I can take them on showings. I can, you know, take them to the office with me. 
Have so, them clean the houses. You know what I mean? Right. Kids are Yeah, they don't even durable. clean their own room. Oh, that's true. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and my kids are older. I, my daughter is 20 and my son is almost 18. So um, they are older kids and they are able to be involved um, in whatever I need help with. So uh, that was the main purpose for it. As I uh, went through my divorce and I was a single mom and I was experiencing that, um, I was in the same position that m- the majority of the Valley was in back in 2009 is I was underwater in my house yeah. trying to save it. Um, when you go through a divorce, it's very typical. You have credit issues. You're, um, you usually take a credit hit. You usually are financially drained with yeah. legal fees and all that. So, so there was a lot of um, things that I experienced that I heard other single parents experiencing as well. Uh, and I know that statistically that I realize along the way is that um, the children that live in a house that's owned versus a house that's rented are more likely to um, stay in school. The teen pregnancy rates lower. Um, wow. The uh, the amount of education they have by the twenty the, by the age of twenty five is is more education statistically versus um, you know kids that don't go on to college and whatnot. So there are benefits like that to owning a home. Um, so it was very important to me that people that wanted to own a home or wanted to maintain and save their home. Um, that 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 I wanted to help them with that because I started receiving help and it it was there are a lot of resources out there that a lot of people just don't know about. Yeah, education is key. Right, and when I was going through this, I didn't have a place, one resource to go to to find out about these things. I was scraping and struggling and and looking to to find out what to do about these things. Um, I mean, you talk about nutrition and there's all kinds of. Um, I think one of them is called Angel basket where you can get or bountiful basket where bountiful, you can get yeah, I've heard about fruits that. and vegetables and <clears> I think <throat> that I think it's called angel basket um, angel something but you can also get meats and and other items in it as well but it's kind of a similar thing extra farmers market produce and and things like that so it's it's it, the ability to have a um, healthy stable environment um, when you're going through a rough time is absolutely there, but you just need to know where the resources are. Yeah, so you compiled this up, mm-hmm. and now now it's, it's a it's a package deal that you're doing. Uh, well, the that you're doing now. Well, is- um, Homes for Single Moms is a program. I looked into making it into a nonprofit. Um, that was actually not a route that I wanted to take for various reasons. Um, one because it was a conflict of interest to have a nonprofit, and then to refer people and, and make commissions and sales. Right. So I had to do kind of one or the other. Um, also because I saw it going in a, in a certain direction. And if you have a, a nonprofit, you have to have a board and, and you don't necessarily get to choose yeah. the way that it goes and you can be voted off. And so I thought, you know, and I talked to several people and, and the advice was just be a, um, you know, business that, that generates income that donates to the nonprofits. Yeah, so neat. I'm very involved with a lot of other nonprofits in the Valley um, if people like I don't, I don't do anything with um, or have resources for single moms that are um, evicted or um, domestic violence or anything like that. But I do know of a lot of shelters because there are lots of them in the valley. Yeah, um, neat. Yeah, yeah. So it's just about knowing where to go, and I want to be the hub. I want to be. I the like hub. that word. You are uh, the hub. I want to be the hub. When a single parent needs a resource, I want to be the hub, and I want them to come to. Our website, our Facebook page, our group. We have a Facebook group of single parents. There's about 70 single parents in there. And we talk about parenting topics um, that are specific to us. This Facebook um, thing. Yeah. You want to describe Facebook. that a little bit? What is this Facebook? Is this free? Yes, absolutely. No, I'm just in case you learn. So it's <laughs> Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. Facebook.com. <laughs> yes. In yeah, because you you're a little it. networker on the Facebook. But that I is am. that is so neat. So let's do a little scenario. Yes. If somebody was a single mom. Yes. They would come to you. Mm-hmm. Let's kind of walk us through. Are there any examples you can tell us? Like, sure. And you don't have to use real names. It right. would be kind of neat if you did use their <laughs> real name because just to see what right. kind of assistance they are getting. Right. Um, but how, what 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 would they do? Well, everybody has a different place where they start. Some of them are ready to go. Some of them are just curious. Um, so I'll give you a couple of scenarios. So um, there's a woman that approached me. She was um, discussing divorce with her husband. She needed to know um, what they should do with their house. Um, obviously, you're in a situation where they're underwater, because so then you need to look for a short sale. If you're getting divorced, um, there's issues with the deed and and the divorce decree, and you know who has the house and who has the right to sign things, and um, so so there's a lot of um, issues with that. 
that a realtor, that an experienced realtor with short sales will be able to help you with. Um, some court cases right now, if you're going through the courts and going through a divorce and you have a house that needs to be disposed of, sometimes they will assign a realtor now. So oh, you wow. don't have the option um, to choose. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different scenarios. Every short sale is different. I've negotiated short sales for, you know, several years now, and every single one of them is different. Um, so that's one scenario. I had another scenario where um, a woman had been a single mom for a long time, about 13 years. Uh, her mother had passed away, left her some money. She had um, really, uh, she had gone through some uh, program called Homeward Bound, where she had uh, recovered from drug addiction. She had been clean for uh, like 10 years. Um, so she had this money that her mother left her and she wanted to buy a house because that was a dream of hers. So she had graduated from this program and, and we looked into buying her house. Oh, cool. Um, so there's scenarios like that. You also have, um, I have a friend who's a single mom. She works at Intel. Um, she has a great job. She has a great income. She lives in a neighborhood near her husband her ex-husband, you know, and it's great for the kids. Uh, what's this, another scenario? Um, another scenario that's very typical, I have a young man that I'm working with right now. He's a single dad. He has a great job, um, but he went through foreclosure. They usually go through a short sale. Um, if that's the case, there's usually three to four, sometimes up to seven years before they can buy again. Right. Um, Sally Mae loans are a big um, hindrance when it comes to getting uh, a loan sometimes for a house. So people that are going through, um, you know, they, they had a default on a, a student loan payment because they were having, they had a divorce and it was somebody else's student loan and they didn't feel they should have to pay for it. So right. they weren't paying, you know, so there's, there's all kinds of scenarios. So very typical is that somebody will approach me. They'll say that they're interested in buying a home. I'll send them to a loan officer or they might already have one. We'll run a credit check, see where they start. And then we, we build a plan of action from there. So um, usually there's credit repair required. Usually there's some type of um, paying off loans or um, what other scenarios? Um, credit repair is basically the main thing. Right. They um, need the credit. They need the credit or they need to save up money for a down payment. Um, there's FHA programs out there that are 3.5% down. If they've already bought a house recently, then, you know, that's, that's not something that they're eligible for. But then there's also all kinds of programs out there that some people don't know about that are, um, used to be called Homes for Heroes, I think they've renamed it, uh, but it's for <clears throat> firefighters, police officers, teachers, you can get down payment assistance on okay, some of these Okay, see, programs. that's where the education thing is. Right. So is there a fee for this sort of thing? Let's kind of, let's, we're going to kind of wrap it up a little yes. bit, but let's do a little infomercial of how okay. people are going to find you. Do they come and sure. say, okay, you know, matter of fact, did you answer, is there a fee? Just curiosity. There is not a fee. Um, the only fee I get paid is if we have a real estate transaction and I get paid by commission at the end of the transaction. Right. So it's like a regular kind of realtor Correct. thing. So, so everything else, I sponsor classes. We've sponsored classes on, um, on credit repair, on financial planning, saving for college. On, uh, I had a gentleman that has a business development school in uh, Central Phoenix, and he donated 15 spots for single parents in this business development program that was four months long and it was a $4,000 value. Um, I've had nice. people come in and do uh, resume writing workshops. Um, none of that at this point, they don't charge me, I don't charge them, I just kind of organize and facilitate. Um, so th I love to do that, I love to pass that on. Um, it, it's not about um, making money, although that's part of the reason that I didn't go the nonprofit route because right, I didn't right. want to spend my time focusing on fundraising. I obviously have a family to feed myself. Hello, <laughs> yeah. Because I am a single mom. I know, I remember. <laughs> right. That's so, where this came from, right. silly. Right. But I don't <laughs> want parents to not get the resources they yeah, need because yeah. they don't have the money to do it. Exactly. So. No, I think that's that's wonderful. So give us right. some, where you at, phone numbers, yes. uh, This is the Facebook thing you speak yes. of, websites. Yes, websites. So. If you go on Google and type in homes for single moms, you will find about five pages <laughs> of LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, um, Twitter, let's see, Twitter handle, Kara CZ. Hello, hello. Kara CZ on Twitter. Um, Facebook, homes for single moms. Find our Facebook business page. Connect with us, with us there. Um, Kara.Zarnicki um, is my uh, personal Facebook page, so fa Facebook backslash Kara.Zarnicki. Um, homesforsinglemoms.com is also our website. 
Um, I just bought all the domain names. I know. I was like, wow, you must have been like, homes for this, this, and that. And it's spelled, if you spell it with the number four, I've got it. If you spell it with the F O R, I've got it. I've got the dot org. I've got the dot com. That must have been fun. It was a blast. Plus, the Googling thing will be fun (laughs) when people Google and they kind of information about you. All right, that wraps it up. Any other tidbits you want to add? Because here's what I do as a 30 second thing. Bam, anything you want to say in 30 seconds. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) Okay, sweet. Anything? (laughs) Anything. So, the whole, shout reason, out. the whole reason that I did this is because every child that goes through a divorce has the right to live the most resourceful, eventful, full, healthy, thriving life that they can. Um, so the reason I do this is for the kids. Um, if you are a single parent, get involved with your kids. Get involved with the school. Get involved with their sports. I know that it's difficult as a single parent, but the more involved you are with them, as a child, the the stigma of living in a single parent household will be lessened. Um, yeah. The the effects of it will be lessened. So this whole thing that I do is all about giving single parents resources for the benefit of the kids. Nice, and that's why you're here because we are positive. You're a positive person with passions and profits. I put the profit things because we need to make profits to yes. continue our stuff. Buy a house. Buy a house. <laughs> or sell a house. Cara. <laughs> yeah, do whatever. Just just Google her. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have with Kara. We uh, are going to go on a little commercial break. We're going to have Carlo. He's going to be playing a little. I don't know. Now I go into a different accent. I'll be back with music. <laughs> 